Welcome to the Bui Hydroelectric Dam and Solar Farm, one of the strategic national assets that generate electricity to power your homes, offices and factories. The Bui Hydroelectric Dam is located on the Black Volta River, which also serves as the boundary between Savannah and Bono regions. It was formally opened on December 19, 2013. This strategic national asset has an installed capacity of 404 megawatts from four generating units comprising three 133.33 megawatt Francis turbine units and a four megawatt turbinate. The concrete gravity dam has a maximum height of 185 meters and a crest length of about 492 meters. This is the main dam structure. It is 185 meters high. The reservoir is behind this. It has three intake structures and five bay spillway, a main powerhouse that houses the turbines and a mini powerhouse that holds an environmental flow valve and a four megawatts turbinate. The main powerhouse has units such as the control system, monitoring unit, switch gear room, cooling water system, compressor room and the gallery. We are presently within the dam gallery. The dam galleries are the tunnels within the dam. The facility was constructed under the engineering, procurement and construction 10 key arrangement signed on 19th April 2007. Sino Hydro Corporation was a contractor of the dam. The project was originally estimated at $622 million. However, at the end of construction, the total cost was $790 million. The Bui Power Authority was established in the same year the contract was signed and mandated to plan, execute and manage the facility. Mr. Solomon Ajete has the power directorate at the Energy Ministry. The Bui plant came into existing as a picking plant. When we say picking plant, it means that Ghana, if you look at our peak period, starts from 7 up to 10, 30 or 11. That's when everybody has put its uh, gadget on. Yes. So we was uh, designed to only come on during the peak period. The reason is that if you look at the annual energy output of the Bui plant, which is about uh, 400 megawatts, it's about 1,000 gigawatt hours, roughly. And this same energy output is equivalent to that of Pong. A Pong is just 160 megawatts. So it means that Bui plant cannot be run throughout the year. If you want to run the full capacity throughout the year, then it can take you uh, between three and four months. That means that you have to shut the plant down. Since its arrival, the Bui Generation Station has contributed to enhancing the country's generation capacity and somewhat guaranteed the reliability and security of power supply to the northern belt of the country. It is a provider of reactive power to the national interconnected grid system. These three transformers receive power from the generating system in the powerhouse and boost the power and then transmit it to the switchyard. Unlike the Akusumbo Hydro Dam, which operates all year round at peak and non peak periods, the Bui Hydro Dam was established to supply power during peak periods when demand of electricity is high. This is because the reservoir is not huge. The facility operates based on forecast of the rainfall pattern and the anticipated inflows from tributaries upstream into the black water and onto the dam. In seasons where the tributaries dry up or have low water, the water level in the dam goes down. For example, this happened in 2020 and the first quarter of 2021, where the dam hit its minimum level of 168 meters. The dam operates between a minimum water level of 168 meters and a maximum elevation of 183 meters. 
So if the water level is above the maximum level, which is 183, then the authority need to spill the water to uh, secure the integrity of the dam. Mr. Anthony Osafo Kisi is the deputy chief executive of the authority. Our main source of water comes from the black water. And the black water takes its heads from Mali, Burkina Faso, through La Côte d'Ivoire to Ghana. Now, if, if the black water in Burkina Faso dries up, then basically we don't have any, any flows into the Bull River in Ghana. Even though we have in Ghana too, uh, if you look at the black catchment, we have certain portions in Ghana. So even though if it doesn't rain in Burkina Faso, but it rains heavily in Ghana, we are also able to make close to about 60 to 70 percent of the of the reservoir volumes. However, with climate change, now we are not seeing it very significantly, but I'm sure in the future we are going to experience the climate change, in the sense that the normal rainfall patterns that we have is going to change. In years where we know that we have two or three types of seasons in Ghana, there's the southern rainfall, that's about January to May, April, then goes to the north to about uh, July, June, August, September, October, then comes down again to the southern Ghana, October, November, December, that is going to change. So you're going to have erratic rainfall pattern and that would definitely disturb uh, inflows in the uh, Bui Reservoir. But thank God we have the solar, and I'm sure with the solar we'll be able to manage. To ensure sustainability and prolong the lifespan of the facility in view of climate change, energy transition, and for the authority to continue to be in business, the arts establishing We Power was amended to give it the mandate to venture into other renewable sources of energy. Many believe this move was necessary because the future of the hydro dam cannot be guaranteed as tributaries which flow into the reservoir are drying up up north and from Burkina Faso. Hence the introduction of the concept hydro-solar hybrid. Call it a marriage between solar and hydro. This will be Ghana's first hybrid plant harnessing solar and hydro resources to produce and supply power to the national grid. The concept of the hybrid is to make sure that we are able to run the Bui hydro plant and then the Bui solar plant together in such a way that if the solar plant is down as a result of cloud cover or rainfall, then the Bui hydro plant will kick in to take the shortfall in the solar plant. So that that synergy is what we call the hybridization or the hydro-solar hybrid. And the intention is that once we're able to do that, then in all other future developments of hydro plants, we'll make sure that we hybridize them with solar plants. And it's, it's one of the things that is going to happen in the Palugu plant, which VRA is currently constructing. In addition to the hydro plant, they are going to have a solar plant. So they will hybridize the solar of the hydro. We all know solar runs during the day, and therefore at night, the plant will not be available if you are not using the storage system. And for the hydro, hydro also uses water. But then, if you combine the solar and the hydro, it means that during the day, some of the water that we would have used, we would have saved that, that water and used the solar during the day. So at night, when the solar is not uh, available, you can then uh, 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 use the water that you saved. This solar farm project, experts say, will be a game changer for the authority as it will enable it to generate power day and night and address the climate change related effects on inflow of water into the main dam. In October 2019, construction started on the first phase of the 250 megawatts project with the development of a solar PV facility, a control room and transmission system. This represents the PV panels and these are inverters. So after the PV panels, 
produce a DC voltage. Then the inverter will convert the DC voltage to AC volts. The buoy dam has a water capacity of 12.5 billion cubic meters of water. Now, it's a one-year cycle. So every time we have a good rainfall, the reservoir fills up. Every year we don't have a good rainfall, we have some partial you know, filling up of the reservoir. This year, for example, the reservoir is almost full. We are close to 181 uh, meters uh, above sea level for the reservoir. The maximum operating level is 183. So you can see that we are close to about 90-95% full. Now, um, because we are in the northern region, and that's the only plant in the northern part of the country, Anytime there's any shutdown or maintenance of the other generating plants in the country, particularly the thermal plants, generation to the north becomes a problem, particularly voltages. So during those times, buoy is called upon to supplement generation. Now, when we do that, then in the process, we sort of run down the reservoir. But in order to, going forward, we are saying that then we'll build the solar plants. So basically, we are using the solar sort of to manage the buoy reservoir. The solar panels are fitted with solar inverters. The inverters convert direct current generated by the panels into alternative current that can be accepted by the grid, thus turning DC to AC. The inverters are considered the brains of the solar plant. The current or power from the inverters is transmitted to these transformers for onward transfer to the switchyard onto the national grid. The initial 50 megawatt plant was inaugurated in November 2020 and has been connected onto the national interconnected transmission system. Work has started on phase two of the project, which will involve the building of 100 megawatt farm and facilities. This is the weather monitoring station at the farm. This equipment measures the solar radiation, humidity, wind speed and direction, and general weather conditions. It helps in determining whether the conditions will be right to generate enough power or not. It is the forecaster for the farm. The authority has also constructed a 1 megawatt floating solar plant on the reservoir the first of its kind to be inaugurated in the West African sub-region. Ghana is the first to mount this facility to generate electricity for the national grid. Bui Power Authority is indeed leading in the renewable energy space. It is important for us as a country to generate enough power for industrialization and the Bui Power Authority is in the forefront in championing this. We can only say congratulations to Bui Power for what it is doing with renewables. The floating solar power plant, which is expected to be expanded to 500 megawatts, is an innovative strategy of installing photovoltaic on water infrastructure to conserve the land, increase efficiency of the solar plant while also conserving water due to reduction in evaporation of water from the reservoir. When power is generated from the hydro and solar farm, it is transmitted to this 161 kV switchyard situated downstream of the powerhouse at the eastern bank. It has been expanded to evacuate 250 megawatts of solar generated power from the solar farm. The transmission system evacuates power from the plant through the switchyard onto four 161 kV transmission lines which are connected to the national grid. The lines transmit electricity directly to Sola, Kintampo, Techiman and Sunyai substations. The authority says the hydro-solar hybrid project is its contribution towards government's efforts to increase renewable energy in the energy generation mix by 10% by 2030 as part of the National Determined Contribution, NDC, towards the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change, UNFCC. This shows that even though we are a young company, we, we've come so far on the solar and in the renewable. So for now, we have the biggest plant in Ghana and the only floating solar plant 
in the sub-region. So that makes us the leaders in renewable energy. The topical issue now is about transition. That's moving from uh, fossil fuel based things to uh, clean, clean energy. And Ghana is also much uh, concerned about that. And that is why we've uh, come up with the master plan to ensure that we also transition uh, gradually, but based on our master plan that we have. Goal 7 of the Sustainable Development Goals, which calls for affordable and clean energy, urges nations to ensure access to affordable, reliable, sustainable and modern energy for all. The goal advocates implementation of new energy solutions to counter climate change, which is one of the biggest threats to our own survival. The tributaries may be drying up as a result of droughts, but the Bui Power Authority says it has found the solution to continue to be in business if the rainfall patterns fail. And this is renewable energy, hydro-solar hybridization. This is described in climate change circles as climate change adaptation interventions. So the Bui Hydroelectric Dam is over there. This is the reservoir. You have the floating solar panel on the reservoir. Over here is the solar farm. For GBC News, Dominic Honoji, Bui.